as as great as John was, because you know that we, as men, there is greatness in it. I mean, we do great, magnificent things. But he's saying being born of the Spirit is far greater than that. And so this is what he's telling the people at this time. And he goes on to say in 12, and from the day of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. What he is telling us, what he is saying here is from the days when John was going about saying there's one coming who's, who's greater than I am, there's one coming who will bring the kingdom of heaven, and as he goes on to do his job concerning the things of Christ, he said from that time when John was preaching until now, the kingdom suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. That word suffereth means to allow. The kingdom allows violence. That word violence means vigorous activity. It means pressure. It means pressing. So the kingdom allows pressing in. The kingdom allows vigorous activity. The kingdom allows one to press. The kingdom of, of heaven, he says here, suffered violence. And the violent, the violent is the one who's doing the violence. The violent is the one who is pressing their way in. So, the kingdom of heaven allows violence. The kingdom of heaven allows vigorous activity. The kingdom of heaven allows pressure. The kingdom of heaven allows force. And the violent and the one who is forcing, the one who is pressing, the one who has vigorous activity will take it by force. What will they take? The kingdom. What is the kingdom? God's word. Whatever God's word says it has for you. If the word of God says that healing is provided, the one that needs the healing, who would be the violent, if the one who needs the healing, if the violent one presses in, if the violent one forces its way to the kingdom, into the kingdom, it will seize, it will take by force that which the kingdom has. Example would be the woman with the issue of blood. This woman is the violent. What violence did she do? The Bible says that when she heard about the kingdom, she said to herself, if I could just touch the hem of his God, his garment of Jesus, that she would be healed. So when she heard about the word of God, which was preached through Christ, she said, if I could get to him, I could seize what the kingdom has for me. So the Bible says she pressed her way through the crowd. Her pressing her way through the crowd was the violence. And she was the violent one going to seize what the kingdom had. And the Bible says she received her healing. Another example would be uh, the man that needed healing. Uh, and he couldn't get into the room where the healing was taking place. And so the Bible says he cut a hole in the roof. Those that cut the hole in the roof were the violent. What was the violence? What was the force? What was the pressure? That was the cutting the hole in the roof. And so they were the ones that were doing the violence. To do what? To receive that which the kingdom had, which was God's word, which was healing. And so as they put the man down through and the man received his healing, why? They couldn't get through the door. It was too many people. So they had to do violence to get to the kingdom to seize 
what the kingdom has. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. And so where they weren't able to get through the door, they didn't give up. They said, we've got to find a way. We've got to do violence to get to this. We've got to do violence to seize that which the kingdom has. And so they cut the hole in the roof. That's just another example. And so in our lives, when we're looking to receive what the word of God says that we have, we can have, you can't all, we can't always sit idly by and not receive and not seize what the kingdom says we can have. So sometimes, saints, we've got to do violence. Sometimes we've got to put a little pressure on it. Sometimes we've got to put some force into it. You know, it's a strange thing that we sit idly by about the things of God. But whatever the world tells us that we can have, we do violence. We'll sell, we'll sell you know, people sell their kids. Whatever they have to do. That's violence. They're doing violence. They're saying, I'm not sitting by and not having what the world says that I can have. I'm going to get mine at whatever cost. Whatever it costs me, I'm going to get it. There was a movie, what was it, Get Rich or Die Trying, something to that effect. Meant that, whatever I have to do, kill, sell drugs, sell my kids, whatever I have to do, I'm doing some violence here because I'm going to get what the world says that I can have. But when it comes to the things of God, we don't do violence for those things. We will easily do violence for the things of the world. But if God says, God's word says we can have healing and we're sick, we don't put anything into that. I'm just sick. If God's word says that we can be delivered, and we have, we're having some real issues here that we know we need deliverance from. We don't, put, we don't do any violence to receive our deliverance. I just can't do it. But we did violence to get into that situation. So you see, as saints of God, we have got to put some pressure on it. We have got to do violence to seize the things that God says that we can have. Jesus told the people then, he says from, until, uh, from the days of John until now the kingdom allows this. So see the people, wherever Jesus was, and they heard, they would do violence to get to him. Why? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God's word is at hand. What God says that you can have is at hand. And they believed on that word and they went and they pressed their way through to seize that which God said that they can have. But see, now we even have a new and a better way. We have a better covenant. We don't have to run around to a locale to find Jesus. The Bible says that he's seated in heavenly places on the right hand of the Father. And we as born again believers are in him. So we don't even have to go around to any location. All we have to do, the kingdom of heaven is within us. So all we have to do is believe what the kingdom says that we have and take hold of it. Believe it. Have faith in God. Believe his word and receive, seize that which he says that we can have, which is his word. Whatever his word says, we can have it. Hallelujah. We don't have to go anywhere. The kingdom of heaven, not only is it at hand, the kingdom of heaven is within. And so we can receive, we can seize, we can do violence, we can say, back up, I have what God says that I can have. You can't have what God says that I can have, the enemy. It belongs to me. Oh, I'm not listening to the enemy of my mind. Let me tell you what the word of God says about this situation. The Bible says to, res uh, to resist the devil and he will flee from you. So when the devil wants to approach you about what you can't do, the Bible says, God's word says, the kingdom says that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So I am more than a conqueror. I am more than able. That is the kingdom. I can have all of what the kingdom says that I can have. 
so back up off me. We can do violence. We can take it by force. Amen. Hallelujah. And so this is what Jesus was telling the people. He says it's at hand. And you can have what the kingdom says. You can seize what the kingdom says. The kingdom allows violence. The kingdom will allow whoever wants to press in to come in and get it. It was, a, it was so then, it's so now. Hallelujah. And he says here in 14, and if you will receive it. And if you will receive it, you can have it. He says, this is, it actually it says here, uh, and if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Remember in the beginning when we said Elias was a prophet, and it said in Isaiah 35, Isaiah, uh, Elias uh, prophesied and spoke, and what he said was, then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap, and the tongue of the dumb sing. So see, what he's saying here is that which Elias spoke of then, this is what's happening now. Deaf eyes, I mean, uh, deaf ears are being opened, blind eyes, yeah, unstopped, blind eyes are being opened, people are being healed. That which was prophesied then, which was, was what Elias said, which has now come. So that's what he's saying here. And he's saying, if you will receive it. So if you will receive even that which Elias prophesied back, way back there, saying that you could have healing, that, you know, the lame would walk. He said, it has come and you can have it if you will receive it. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So you can take it by force. And he says here, he that have ears to hear, let him hear. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. And you will hear many times throughout the Bible. He that have ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. He that have ears to hear, let him hear what God is saying to the church. I'm saying to you today, he that have ears to hear, hear what the Spirit is saying. Hear what the Word of God is saying. And the Word of God is telling us today that the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. 